So hey guys, so I decided to test my luck and see if I could take myself to London today. And um, I have made it to our new employee parking lot. And I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get to the airport because I've never parked here before. So I'm about to jump out, get all my bags and see if I can make it. And then I will update you guys on where, how I got there and all of that, those things. Um, and I forgot my tripod. <laughs> This was so last minute. I forgot my tripod. I'm not bringing my camera. So that's all I have is my phone. So it's going to be very, very shaky as you can tell. Um, so I don't know. Let's see what happens. So, Chuck Delta. They had an earlier flight. They had 40 something open seats. Didn't get one. Hmm. Gonna go run option two. Let's go. studios left but I got this off of points so there's my bathroom my itty bitty shower this is right off here so let's keep going I'm going to cover that up this is really cute I have no idea what's playing on there but I have a whole little there and I don't think that's right that is totally wrong have a little wardrobe this is me after five minutes this is really cute I like it be my home away from home for two days and that is my view cool beans all right so hey guys hey from London I made it there were a couple of hiccups as usual I have the don't be like me story is coming. Um, I flew from Denver to Boston only because all of the flights out of Boston were pretty open. So thank you to American that got me here, uh, upgraded into first class, yay. And uh, I got here pretty early and then I knew I had to get my Oyster card for the the lube in the underground um and then i ended up at the wrong marriott <laughs> so i took the underground successfully successfully navigated my way to the hotel the girl couldn't find my reservation so i gave her my reservation number and she goes oh this is for the one by London Bridge. We're the one in Kensington. Okay, so what now? <laughs> I ended up getting an Uber from that location to where I am now, which is really funny. And everything works out. Everything works out. It, it all works out. There's a reason for everything. My Uber driver, whose family is Indian, was born and raised here and also is a fellow traveler. So he gave me all the ins and outs, the, the walking routes, all of these things to do in England on my way here. And um, I also have his number because he also uh, will, will drive you around if, in case you need a driver or whatever. So it turned out to be a very happy coincidence. I keep saying there's no such thing as coincidence. So everything happens for a reason and there was a reason behind my little hiccup today. So I am in my room. It is a little after 12, 
which means it is probably a little after six o'clock Denver time. Yeah, not been up for a while, but I did get some decent sleep on the plane. So I am going to pack a bag, well, throw some things into my little, my little uh, crossbody bag and go see some sights. And uh, I'll take you with me. And then, 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 then tonight, if I hold up, I hope I hold up. I'm gonna take a nap so I can't hold up. I'm gonna go dancing. I'm gonna go dancing in, in London. Um, I wanted to go to a social that like Super Mario hosts. Um, he's a big Mambo uh, scene guy, but um, he doesn't have one this week. His was last week. And I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, that's funny. But um, I looked up a human dance group here in London and they have something today and tomorrow. So if I don't make it tonight, I can make it tomorrow. But I'm hoping to make it tonight. We'll see what happens. But first, I'm gonna put on my jacket, throw some things into a bag, and go see some sights. I'm so happy, yay! because it was raining for an hour and then I walked out went out to um, Tower Bridge and to St. Paul's Cathedral and then I was going to come back and go to a, a, a local pub to get some fish and chips and a beer and um, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it my phone sent me in the wrong direction and I was like why does it keep why does the address keeps getting further and further and further away but it said I was still on the right uh, the right path or the right route so when I realized my phone was doing something wacky 
and was sending me all around town. Um, I turned around to go the right way and the sky opened up. When I say opened up, it opened up. And I am totally soaked. Well, from my legs down are totally soaked. My shoes were squishy. They are just squishy. And my poor coat, I didn't bring my raincoat. I don't know why I didn't bring a raincoat to freaking London. Um, but I didn't bring my raincoat, but I did bring my hat and my gloves and my hair is bound under my hat all day. And um, I was walking back in front, in front of my hotel and I just came in my hotel, ordered some Uber Eats. I did order fish and chips though. And I don't think I'm going back out. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, once I eat and um, take a long hot shower and warm up, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but right now, it's not looking good for the whole team. <laughs> so my squishy shoes are in the bathroom to dry. And my, I've hung up my coat. Hopefully that will dry. If not, there is laundry downstairs. And I'll just throw them in the dryer. Uh, well, throw my coat in the dryer. I have another pair of shoes. But yeah, so that's day one. The adventure continues. I'll let you know about my fish and chips. <laughs> so I'm sitting here waiting on my Uber Eats and um, it's still raining. I just looked out the corner and it's still raining and all of my stuff is still wet and I've changed into a pair of jeans and some, <laughs> some dry socks and shoes to get me the Uber Eats driver. But I want to show you guys this view because now the sun is out. The sun is out. It's still raining, but the sun is out. Welcome to London Ray. So this is my view now. With the beautiful rainbow. Look at that. Oh my god, it just appeared. It's a double rainbow. Oh, oh man. Wow. Okay, so that might be worth it. I mean, look at that. That is... Wow. It goes all the way across. Wow. Okay, guys, I just got my Uber Eats order delivered, and they don't call it, it says Uber Eats on my app, but here it's called Deliver Room. It's what was on the, the bike messenger's uh, motorcycle. So I'll let you see what I got. All right, so I've already kind of opened it up, it was stapled shut. But um, here's my box. Let's see what's going on with it. You know, I like to eat. That's, I did order extra. I'm about to devour this. This is the first meal I had all day. I'll talk to y'all later.